Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. One of those days, before Koinonia started in Abuja, my father, Apostle Selma, will always come into Abuja while he's going for ministration. And most of the time when he's around, he can come. He said, Jonathan, come, help me do this, 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 this. And I was doing it so happily and excitedly. One of those days, this was period before God even started blessing us with cars. I was in rain. Rain flogged me that day in an attempt to carry out the errands. When I entered his hotel room, he said, Jonathan, you entered rain for me? He said, kneel down. He said, today I'm bringing you into the covenants that I have with God. He said, even if you don't have any covenant with God, me, I bar you from failure. I bring you into the ones I have with God. From that day, something happened to me. I knew I was not the same. I knew I was not the same. When I now talk, people say I talk like him. He was not rehearsed. He was not rehearsed. If you rehearse it, you don't get it. At least one day, you will, you will be tired faking it. I bring you into this covenant. I bring you into this covenant. God can never break his move because of you. Every time God wants to raise a new generation, that generation must collect a baton from the former generation. He cannot honor your pride. There are things you can ask for from God and you will direct it to a man. You see, is it in a way of humbling you? So you say, Lord, give me this. He said, that thing is already with Reverend King. What you are looking for in a word is with Reverend King. So I don't give it to you afresh. Look for him. There are things you don't get directly from God. No. You see, all of these teachings a lot of people are bringing into the body. This is not how it has been. There are things you ask for from God. He sent it to a man.